I wake up immediately. I have to figure out who I am. It's not just the body opening my eyes and discovering whether my skin is light or dark, whether I'm fat or thin, boy or girl. The body is the easiest thing to adjust to this. That is, if you're used to waking up in a new one each morning. I am myself, I know I'm, I am myself, but I am also someone else. It has always been this way. I am Justin, somehow I know this is my name. It's, is Justin, and at the same time, I know I am not really just, I am only borrowing his life for a day. As soon as I get to school, I can tell Justin is not very well liked. I already know I'm going to hate today. Wake up, Leslie. You're going to be late for school. I wake up. I look around. I comprehend that I'm in a new body, and today is a new day. Okay, Mom, I'm sorry. Get in the car now. I'll meet you there in just a sec. Bye, Mom. <sighs> Today I'm deciding to skip school. I have too much on my mind. Day 6005. I hate living this way. I'm unable to make any type of human connection. I have never had a family or friends. Because I'm never around one place long enough. Man, it's cold out. I know Leslie's mom is at work and she doesn't have any family, so I'll just go home. Get some sleep, honey. You've got a big day tomorrow. Okay, I love you, Mom. Little does she know I am not her daughter, I am nothing, I am no one, and I do not have a big day tomorrow. I have no clue what tomorrow will bring. Good night, Leslie's body. As soon as I wake up, I begin to access permanent memories of James' past. He seems to have always had a pretty good life. He has a loving family, married parents, and a brother. I know that today won't be anything new, but it shouldn't be too bad. What? Am I in the same body as I was yesterday? I'm so confused. This has never happened before. Could it be? Could I be stuck in this body forever? Wait a minute. What? 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 No, I'm not in the same body. I'm in James' twin's brother's body, Tom. I realize nothing has changed. Today, I am Alyssa. I wake up with an immediate understanding of her. She really seems to get people. She knows how other people feel, and most importantly, she has empathy for others. I know that something has to change. I can't keep living this way. I think she's the one. I think she will understand. I will leave her a note and tell her to contact me. From what I know, when people, when the people whose body I have visited wake up the next day, they don't remember anything I did. When she wakes up, she'll read it and hopefully send me an email. I'm sure she'll be confused, but it's the only way. Today I am Nathan, and I now have a motive. I finally have a goal and a mission. I like this feeling. Immediately, I find Nathan's family computer. I check my email and nothing is there. Then suddenly a message appears. The message reads, I got your note. Who are you? Or should I say, what are you? Please find the time to call me. Yes, thank God she replied. 
I knew she would. I'll call her tomorrow. I need time to think about what I'm going to say. There's also one last thing I want to try. Staying up all night. Then maybe my soul won't switch bodies. It's 11.59. Almost midnight. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. God, guess I'm never doing that again. Ugh. Ah, oh, there's Catherine's computer. Well, I guess it's time to open up my email account and send a message to Alyssa. But wait, what's this? Oh my god. I don't know who you are, you are or what the heck you did to me, but I need an explanation now. How did you get my body? You must be the devil. No, no, this can't be happening. I must have left my email account open on Tom's computer. God, how could I be so dumb? I just won't reply. Maybe he'll let it go. I'll just email Alyssa. Everything will be fine. Dear Alyssa, I am only one hour away. Can we meet up? Okay, sounds good. We'll meet up at the coffee shop in town. Is that you? Yeah, it's me. So how is this possible? I don't know. I've always been this way. Have you ever woken up as an old guy or a baby or something? No. I always say that stay the same age. When I was 8 years old, I would only wake up in 8 year olds' bodies and now I'm only 16. Oh, I see. It's really hard for me, you know? I just want to belong to somebody or something, but I can't. I don't even get my own body. You're so lucky. I'm sorry. I've never heard of anything like this before. It's so bizarre. Is there anything I can do to help? No, not now at least. But I have to figure out something. I can't keep living this way. Yeah, that's understandable. I'll help you any way I can. Thank you. Oh God, I have to go. Her parents will be home any minute. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. <coughs> oh, what is that? The memory starts to swarm through my mind when I realize I am in the body of a drug addict. I have no intention of doing any type of drug, but I feel sick. This body is craving it. I know that I have to refuse the urge. Today is going to be horrible. I will just head to school. What's wrong? Can't even say hi. Yo, you want something to cheer you up? Uh, no thanks. Excuse me? I... I said no. <laughs> I see stars. Am I dead? Where am I? 